everyone. Welcome to the first episode of Concept Wellbeing, where the intention is well. My name is Jade. And I'm Aileen. And we're super excited to have y'all listening. So we're just going to give y'all a little uh, introduction episode of what our new podcast is about. And yeah, let's let's get started. So um, because I think wellness is a very hot topic right now. Um, But well-being, I feel like I feel like well-being is kind of in the shadows a little bit. So I wanted to explain that. So a lot of people are familiar with what wellness is. Um, Wellness actually has seven dimensions. So um, seven dimensions are um, mental, physical, social financial, spiritual, and environmental, and vocational, um, which leads to an optimal state of well-being. So well-being is like an over, like, arching, almost like an umbrella term, I feel like. And so well-being is basically the state of being comfortable and healthy and happy. So that is the goal of this podcast. Um, And I love well-being. Like Isn't way it more. cute? <laughs> yeah, I love well-being because I think we always say wellness or we want to get well or be well or fit or whatever it is. And well-being kind of encompasses everything. And I think throughout our journeys of from when we met each other until now, I think we both have had different experiences and different paths where it's kind of even brought us back together where we're trying to reach the state of well-being in different aspects. Right. Agreed. And I think well-being is kind of our goal. I didn't realize well-being was my goal until I did more research into like the difference between wellness and well-being. And I was like, oh, my goal is actually well-being. Um, wellness is kind of like almost like a subcategory within well-being. So I'm glad you like it because <laughs> I did a lot of research into it. So that worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. I love it. I love it. Yes. Um, also, apologies to anyone listening. I <clears throat> just got over COVID, so I might have a couple of coughs throughout the episode. But I was thinking, we were thinking that since today is December 29th, 2022, um, we would start off our podcast with setting intentions for the next year, um, whether you call them you know, New Year's resolutions, manifestations, or intentions. Um, We thought that that would be a good place to start. I'm going to set the intentions for concept well-being. Y'all can learn, you know, what my hopes and dreams are for the the next year. So I'm just going to read y'all a couple of um, a couple of little bullet points that I wrote in my journal. This is this is a little sneak peek into Jade's journal. So I wrote it you know, as I would write in my journal. So don't judge me. So here we go. Let's see. All right. So hi, journal. <clears throat> it's Jade. Um, so I'm super grateful that I'm a part of Concept Wellbeing, which is a successful wellness brand, well-being brand um, that doesn't just focus on physical or mental health, but also spiritual health and emotional health and social health as well. I'm grateful that I finally found a focus and a drive and consistency to create a safe space for me and anyone else who feels called to better their well-being. I'm also super thankful for Aileen for pushing me to finally start this project because there's so many, <laughs> there's, there's, there's a big backstory to this, but um, thank you, Aileen, for pushing me to start this project. And I'm grateful that I've discovered myself enough to know that this is a mission that I care deeply about. I also wrote a couple of little bullet points for intentions that I'll read for y'all. So first, welcome to the Concept Wellbeing family. We would love consistent listeners, and we would also like y'all to be, like, interactive with us. So I'm hoping to create, like, a nice community with everyone, create a welcoming community for us to try out wellness products and theories I know there's a lot of them out there and some of them are hit or miss so this is um this is just going to be a place where we try those things out I would also love to test out like wellness facilities around the world I think that would be a really like beautiful thing for us to do my biggest manifestation uh this podcast will be on the top 100 podcast list by the end of 2023 because shoot for the stars 
And we would love to have special guests to talk about their well-being journey. I think it's important that people share their journeys and we can learn from them. But most importantly, I want to make sure that the podcast is fun and upbeat and informative and education, educational, and also a safe space for trying. So those are my intentions for Concept Wellbeing. I hope that gives y'all a little bit of an insight of where we're going with this. Aileen, did you want to add anything to here? Yeah, well, I just love that. I think the main goal is we want to make it a safe space to try different things. I know during my journey and Jade from the beginning was always trying new things. And mm. <laughs> one time she came in and was Speak like, on it. <laughs> I always just laugh every time you. <laughs> I think of this is Jade and I used to be interns together after we graduated college and one day she comes in and she's like, okay, guys, today I'm trying this new thing. I'm Because so, Jade was always on a mission to have her skin be glowing. She wanted to glow, even though she already glowed with her personality, she wanted her <laughs> skin to glow too. So she came in one day and she had a cup of water and she starts putting these green drops in there and says, you guys, I'm trying chloroform. And we're like, what? <laughs> like, what are you doing? And she's like, oh, no, 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 chlorophyll. And she even still takes it till today. And she's been, she's tried it all this time and she tries new things constantly. And I think for me, it's a relatively new thing. And for me, I think I've had a lot of growth spiritually. I've been blessed enough to be in spirituality courses and learn more about it. And we wanted to definitely share that information and have you guys be able to try new things and have this be a safe space where we could bring you the information and you guys could try it if you guys want to. And you guys could hear our experiences with it as well. And even with like manifesting or setting intentions, like I, it's pretty new to me. I've only started doing it like maybe the past two years, but prior to that, I didn't know what it was. And I think the biggest thing is when you set your intentions or, or, manifesting it's really important that you guys say everything as in as if you already have it right and be extremely extremely detailed and also it's important for you to be to feel the emotion of whatever you want and be extremely grateful and uh, honestly like I really trust manifesting I've seen it work Mm -hmm. me personally and I'm like how did I not do this before so I think my goal is really coming in here and and being Jade's co-host and having different guests like speakers and being able to share this content with you guys so you guys can try and hopefully go towards overall well-being yeah oh my god I'm so excited I think one more thing that I want to add is we're going to be trying this all of these random things, I don't know. We're, I don't know what we're going to come up with, to be honest with you, because um, if anything, just come along <laughs> for the journey because it might be kind of funny. So that... I think it will be. The things yeah, that no. we do <laughs> and put ourselves in, I'm the, like, why do yes, we do that? The things that we do for wellness and well-being, and honestly, I'll, I'll try just about anything once, to be honest with you. If you tell me it's going to make me feel good, I'm going to try it. And that's just... That's where I've been since like 2014. So I'm excited for our journey. I hope everyone is too. I invite everyone, just to wrap up this this first episode of our podcast, I invite everyone to set their intentions for the upcoming year. And I think it'll be a really great thing for us to be able to look back on at the end of 2023. So I think this episode will air literally on New Year's. So if you're listening, Happy New Year. It's going to be a great year for us and for you. But thank you so much for listening. Um, Aileen, anything to add before we wrap things up? Uh, No, I'm just super excited for this new year and everything that's to come and this fun little journey we're taking. Uh, Same. Okay. All right. Well, let's, this is the end of our first episode. Thank you everyone for listening. Have a good rest of your day or your night or whatever, but we love you guys and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye.